No, I just took it out the oven. I think it'd been in there for an hour and something. I hadn't took the uh, aluminum foil off of it yet. But I am now. Let's see. Oh, wait. That's pretty. And I haven't... I haven't added water to it neither. Okay, I'm going to see something for a minute. This the bottom. This the face down. I had a face down in the, in the juice. This is how it looks. And it's done. I'm going to cover it and leave it in the juice and let it soak and sit. That's with my pine pineapples and cherries. Yeah, that's tender. That's done. I ain't need me putting it back in the oven. So, yeah, had a pineapple and juice. I didn't add no water to it. The same juice in there. I just made it on juice with the um pineapple juice and it made it on water. What I'm saying, juice went up from the pineapples and the um cherry juice and the meat put some yep oh yeah Now I'm about to fry this cabbage. This one, I have two. This I hadn't did the other one yet. Um, I'm about to put it in the pot and fry it. And as you saw earlier on the other video, this one I just chopped and washed. And and this one right here, I'm going to wash it too and chop it. And put it back in here. Wash it and then be from there, y'all. I had to clean my stove off too. You know, racks and stuff, whatever you want to call it on top of my stove. And uh, work from there. That's what I did. Alright. Okay, I put old cooking oil in here. As you can see, if I can tip it. Not that much. And I'm going to add my water. I'm not going to add that much water until it cooks down. And then I'm going to add some more water. If I need to add some more cooking oil, old cooking oil, I will. I'm using a big pot. I'm using this big pot because I'm going to put two heads of cabbage in here. That's a big pot too, large one. 